uh, you just uh, um, had your presentation. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about what it was about? But, yeah. Well, <clears throat> I decided to talk about uh, crowdsourcing for global good. And uh, this is a crowdsourcing conference, so it made sense to talk about this, but especially the global good perspective, you know, what I talk about as, uh, you know, for, for social causes, for example. And I decided to take the perspective of student case competitions because I have been involved in these case competitions myself earlier as a student and also as an alumni and in many cases as a mentor to many teams. And I think uh, the engagement levels that I see with students in participating in such competitions is maybe tenfold higher than them if they're just participating in a standard business case competition uh, by McKinsey or BCG, for example. Yeah. So how do uh, do this kind of competitions work? How many are there, for example? In yeah, a, I mean, in a year? Uh, it, of course, it depends uh, where it is held and uh, and, uh, and 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 what's happening. But um, uh, like uh, in general, you'd expect around between 100 to 500 students that tend to participate in these uh, local competitions. And most competitions are designed to be just for a day. Uh, but what we are starting to see is that competitions are getting broader, more global. And that's why I mentioned one of my favorite competitions, uh, the HALT Global Case Challenge or the HALT Prize, now that it's called. Uh, because it, um, when I uh, took part in it as, uh, as, a, as, as an MBA alumni for the, with the team in 2012, they had 4,000 applications from business schools around the world. Uh, this year in 2014, they had 11,000. So, that's the scale we're looking at. Uh, I mean, and they are definitely mm -hmm. the top right now in social entrepreneurship challenges. Yeah, because she told us uh, social entrepreneurship is very encouraging, mm -hmm. encouraging for students. Mm -hmm. uh, can you explain why? Yeah, so, uh, so you know, social entrepreneurship is, um, is basically trying to, ch uh, to ch tackle problems um, with an entrepreneurial outset. Uh, to the social problems that we have around us and uh, and and by social entrepreneurship I don't talk about you know an uh, in, in NGO or you're not a social worker what you're trying to do is basically create a social business so these are actually clear businesses but with a very clear profit uh, not, not, not a profit goal but a, a social goal but they so still make money so they still make no money yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean if you because like we say you cannot help others if you cannot help yourself so that's the most important thing in social entrepreneurship is you have to be sustainable financially and structurally as well before you can go out and start helping others. And this is one of the very good learning points the students have. Uh, and, and I think what the reason why they're so engaged is because the world is of course having much more social problems today. Uh, students, uh, the young generation especially, is aware of these problems and they want to do something about it. Uh, which is why I'm even surprised that uh, more than half of these social entrepreneurship challenges are attracting MBA students. Students okay. who would probably prefer to go to consulting companies or banks are actually opting to come and help uh, these type of uh, charitable organizations or create startups themselves that can use their kind of banking or their kind of, uh, let's say, business background to actually solve these social issues. Can you name one uh, of these companies that become a success out of the, such a program? Um, yeah, I think uh, there are quite a few. Um, one of the ones that uh, I've seen myself or I've also had uh, the pleasure to interact with was this company called Empani that I also presented here. It was a winner in the HALT uh, challenge in 2011 uh, and they're working now with water.org and actually have a running startup. Uh, in um, uh, in Mumbai, in India. Okay. So, uh, and also I have another example is uh, something called uh, 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 Poopi uh, or Pipu, I think, uh, but it's uh, based in uh, Sweden. A group of Swedish students who decided to solve a problem of uh, th uh, of toilets uh, of no of no access to toilets in Africa. And they actually came up with a very good solution because they went there, they figured out what the problem was, and they, they created these kind of biodegradable bags that could actually then be used as fertilizer and actually build a business model around it. So Thank you very much.